Get your dice ready and your character sheet prepped, because it's game time. Greetings, adventurers. I'm your host, Brian Rollins, and this is episode 222 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. For this week's topic, we've got Dungeons & Dragons Trivia. That's right, that classic role-playing game from the 1970s that's still a big hit to this day. And with the new movie in theaters, what better time to tackle the subject? If you're a new listener, welcome to the party. Every week, DGN has a new topic and 30 trivia questions. I ask and you answer. It's like your own private Jeopardy game without that contestant interview in the middle. If you want to learn more about the show, check out dorkygeekynerdy.com. That's about all I have for the intro, so let's start things off with... The Dorky Round. Number one. D&D was first published by what company? TSR. Number two. In D&D, what is the name of the player who runs the game session? The Dungeon Master, or DM. Number three, who currently publishes Dungeons & Dragons? Wizards of the Coast. Number four, what 2016 TV series repopularized D&D? Stranger Things. Number five. In D&D, the evil versions of what are chromatic and the good versions are metallic. Dragons. Number six. Who plays Edgen in the recent Honor Among Thieves film? Chris Pine. Number seven. BioWare released what D&D video game in 1998? Baldur's Gate. Number eight. What is the most popular campaign setting for D&D? Forgotten Realms. Number nine. What does XP stand for? Experience points. Number ten. What D and D race is based on Tolkien's Hobbits? Halflings. The Geeky Round. Number one, the game was split into what two titles starting in 1977? Basic and Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Number two, what pair is credited with creating Dungeons and Dragons? Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson. Number three, as of 2023, D&D is up to which edition? Fifth edition. It was released in 2014. 
Number four, what Oscar, Tony, and Emmy-winning actor starred in the 2000 film Dungeons & Dragons? Jeremy Irons. Number five, what is NPC short for? Non-player character. Number six, what duo created the Dragonlance series of D&D novels? Margaret Weiss, and Tracy Hickman. Number seven, what author had a hit with the Icewind Dale trilogies starting in the late 1980s? R.A. Salvatore. Number eight, what was the first D&D PC video game? Pool of Radiance. It was released in 1988. Number 9. What multiplayer D&D game ran through AOL from 1991 to 1997? Neverwinter Nights. Number 10. Which D&D campaign setting is based on gothic horror novels of the 19th century? Ravenloft. The Nerdy Round. Number 1. What 1982 sci-fi movie begins with a group of teens playing D&D? E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Number two, the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon debuted in which year? 1983. Number three, in which campaign setting would you adventure in wild space? Spelljammer. Number four, D&D was inducted into which Hall of Fame in 2016? The National Toy Hall of Fame. Number five, how many theatrically released D&D films have there been? While others have been released direct to video, only the 2000 and 2023 films made it to theaters. Number six. What game setting was added after 11,000 submissions in 2002's fantasy setting search? Eberron. Number seven, what was the initial budget for the original D&D game? $2,000. Only $100 was spent on artwork. Number eight, for the last several versions, what are the three core rule books? The Player's Handbook, The Dungeon Master's Guide, 
in the Monster Manual. Number 9. What animated D&D film was released to video in 2008? Dragonlance, Dragons of Autumn Twilight. Number 10. Which D&D campaign setting was inspired by the Dune and Barsoom series and was set on the world Athos? Dark Sun. And that's all the questions I have for Dungeons & Dragons trivia. I used to play way back when, and someday I'll get back to it. If you do play, reach out to me on Facebook or Twitter and let me know what class and race you prefer. I always felt I needed to play a cleric of some kind to keep the players patched up and on their feet. I'll be back here next week with another episode and another 30 questions. Here's a hint as to the topic. What superhero team first appeared in Marvel Superheroes number 18 in 1969? So many superheroes, so little time. See you back here next Wednesday. This has been episode 222 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. The theme music is by Jason Shaw at audionautics.com. This podcast is written, produced, and hosted by me, Brian Rollins. You can find out what else I'm working on, including various audiobook projects, at thevoicesinmyhead.com. Thanks for listening, and here's to hoping you roll nothing but 20s all week. Tis the season to be podcasting. Stay inside with a warm beverage and a hot microphone. If you're interested, Spotify can help you out. They've got a platform that lets you make one, distribute it, and earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. So you've already got the equipment necessary to start recording today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify, Apple, Google, and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. And when you want to take conversations with your fans to the next level, Q&A and polls are an excellent way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads, and podcast subscriptions. Best of all, it's completely free. I switched dorky, geeky, nerdy over to Spotify for podcasters, and I haven't regretted it. The analytics are fantastic, and the new tools for hosting and updating the feed are way more than I could do self-hosting. Now, it's your turn. Head to podcasters.spotify.com and read all about it then let me know what you are podcasting all about. The best kept secrets in 2041 America are the deadliest ones. A mysterious scarlet haired jazz singer, a rebel on a motorcycle and a killer with a penchant for torture. Food is scarce Good jobs, the rarity, and Big Brother is watching everyone. Will Jack and Tom's family be torn apart in the mayhem? And how far will one brother go to save the other's life? In 2041, America is rife with ghettos and armed checkpoints, and poverty runs rampant. A bloody civil war is brewing, and everyone will be forced to take a side. Education is the only way out of a life where you're never sure where your next meal will come from or what you'll have to do to get it. Tom aced his assessment tests and scored an education contract, giving him a way out of poverty. Jack isn't so lucky. 
Tom must break every rule he's lived by and go head to head with a psychopath if he's to have any chance of saving his brother and just maybe keep America from reaching the Fracture Point. Fracture Point by Jeff Altabeff is book one in the Point Thrillers series. Audiobook available now on Audible and iTunes. <laughs>